To our patients, our families, our researchers, clinicians, and partners, tonight I have some very exciting news to share with you. I'm pleased to share that the U.S. Food and Drug Administration has approved our investigational new drug application to treat our very first patient, Terry. We received word just recently and will begin to move into clinical trial over the coming days, first with immune suppression and then finally with administering of this first in human CRISPR therapeutic. We're so excited to be here. After three long years and so many partnerships, so many families, so many donors, we've finally been able to get to this point. And that's because of you. Without your help, without your continued support, dedication, and belief, we wouldn't have been able to do it. But we have, and we've done more than just develop a drug. We've developed a new framework by which we can treat and develop drugs for other rare and ultra rare diseases that have no treatment. And so over these coming months, Terry will undergo immune suppression, be treated, and hopefully start his new life. And with that is an example that we'll follow for the other patients for whom we're developing therapeutics and other diseases that we're developing therapeutics for. Over these next coming months, I ask for your respect of my family and Terry's privacy. These will be very challenging but exciting times and we'll be sure and certain to share with you what we find so that we can learn from it and do better moving forward. But in the meantime, I ask that you respect the privacy and respect my family's challenge during this time. We certainly won't be sitting idly by in this period. As Terry is in the clinical trial, we'll be developing and continuing to develop drugs for our other diseases, ranging from our limb girdle programs to our neurodegenerative programs with SCA3. We anticipate advancing these other programs, several of these other programs into the clinic in 2023 and moving forward diligently to develop new therapeutics for other diseases that we haven't started down the path of yet. As I leave you here, I wanna leave with a thank you. I wanna say thank you to the companies, to the individuals who have supported us along the way. Thank you to those of us who have been with us from the very first day and who believed in this mission from very, the very beginning. I wanna thank our new donors and our new partners who have joined us recently as well. It's because of our collective teamwork and collaboration that we've been able to advance a first in human drug into the clinic in three years. And it's because of you that we'll continue to advance therapeutics into the clinic over the coming years and into the future. Until there is no family who has to fear a rare disease diagnosis, and there is no family who has to fear losing a loved one to a rare disease. So tonight and today, I wanna to say thank you. I appreciate your time, I appreciate your effort, and I appreciate your sacrifice. And it's because of you that we've now entered a new age of drug development. And it's because of you that no family in the future will have to fear a rare disease diagnosis. Thank you.